The title of our poster is Global Optimization of the Palladium Atomic Clusters and their abilities to break a carbon hydrogen bond in ethane at the CCSDT level. So first, let's look at the catalytic cycle of ethane dehydrogenation. So we can see this palladium atomic cluster can remove two hydrogen atoms from ethane to form ethylene. The first hydrogen removal is the rate limiting step. So we focus on this chemical reaction in which this palladium cluster inserts into a carbon hydrogen bond of ethane. We used two different computational methods. We used the B3 LYP method for geometry optimization and vibrational frequency calculation. We used the more accurate CCSDT method for the single point energy calculation. The CCSDT and B3 LYP energies match fairly well for the palladium clusters and even better for the transition state structures. We calculated the atomization energies of the palladium cluster global minima. We can see the atomization energy per atom increases monotonically as the cluster size increases. We also looked at the second derivatives of the atomization energy. We see two positive numbers and four negative numbers. So those four negative numbers means, well, palladium two, three, five, and seven are less stable than their neighboring cluster sizes. Those are the palladium cluster global minima from size three all the way to size eight. S is the spin quantum number. So for example, when we look at this, we know the global minimum of PD3 has a triangular shape with uh, this uh, all electron paired at the singlet electronic state. And this is the MO diagram of PD3. Uh, we can see the LUMO is made of D orbitals, while the HOMO is made of the 5S orbitals. Below HOMO, we have 14 MOs that are made of D orbitals. So it's pretty interesting. By doing this, swapping HOMO and LUMO, uh, we can have two sigma bonds in PD3. One sigma bond is this, due to the two bonding electrons in this HOMO. And also by removing two electrons from this anti-bonding orbital, we have another sigma bond due to the interaction among the D orbitals. Now those are the structures of the transition states from size three <coughs> to size eight. Uh, in each of the transition state structure, you can see there are three partial bonds uh, between carbon and hydrogen, hydrogen and palladium, and palladium and carbon. We quantize the ability of the palladium clusters here. So we're looking at the internal energy of activation at zero K, enthalpy of activation, Gibbs energy of activation at room temperature. So from this graph, we can see palladium two, palladium six, palladium eight, they have lower enthalpy of activation than other sizes, so they are better catalysts. For PD2 and PD6, we even observe negative activation energy. And why is that? Well, here's a diagram. This is the potential energy surface of PD2 in ethane. You can see uh, there's a singlet PS and a triplet PS. So if we look at the singlet PS, you can see uh, when this PD2 and ethane form a complex, the energy drops by 41 kilojoule per mole. And this amount of energy can be used to overcome uh, the energy barrier. That's why over here you can see if we go from here to here, the activation energy is negative. If we go from here to here, it's even more negative. So why can those palladium clusters like PD2, PD6, PD8 insert into a carbon hydrogen bond easily? This is because um, the PD clusters can weaken the carbon hydrogen bond in two ways simultaneously. One way is this, well, the PD cluster can donate its 40 electrons into the anti-bonding orbital of carbon hydrogen bond. It can also accept the bonding electrons from this CH bond. So both mechanisms 
can be used to explain the weakening of the carbon-hydrogen bond by the palladium cluster. And now, which one is predominant? Actually, both take place simultaneously with similar magnitudes because we did some MBO charge analysis. So in this reaction, uh, the charge on the palladium cluster remains virtually unchanged. Now the conclusion. So PD2 is the most active toward ethane, but PD2 itself is unstable. PD4 is stable, but it cannot easily activate a carbon hydrogen bond. So really the ideal sizes are six and eight.